just wanted to start by uh, showing my 2010 finds. These are all the ones that I live in Canada. These are my Canadian finds. I have a place down in the U.S. and they're down there, but uh, a couple of the finds I, I brought up here. Um, let's just start over with the the coins for the year here. Um, as you can see, we'll start with uh, we have one dollar coins here. So I found uh, twenty three dollars and one dollars, and I found uh, fourteen two dollar coins, and then in this man-made lake that we have that we drain the lake every year when I after they drained it I found uh, besides coins and rings found three five dollar bills that were there and uh, two were Canadian and one was actually a US one so my guess it if, if someone had the US money at that time it was in July they could have been up for a Calgary stampede so it could have been a tourist that lost that and these are the coins, uh, quarters I found for the years. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, eight rows of four, so 16 rows. Um, quarters, $16, uh, $17 in quarters. And then I have uh, $6.70 in dimes. And I got 44 nickels. Um, and then down in this part here, I just, it's just a bag of stuff that I dropped when I was at, uh, brought from, uh, when I was down in Florida, I hunted a few different beaches, um, Cocoa Beach, Daytona Beach, uh, Clearwater Beach, and then I think another day at, um, Cocoa. So I had about five days out. Wasn't overly impressed, uh, amounts of clad or coins, but, uh, it's just nice to get out to those beaches and, and learn how to start to beat, beach hunt. Um, did find a weedy here. Um, there and the sweetie was uh, 53 as you can see um, a gold uh, 10 carat gold earring and a couple cheap rings uh, 925 silver earring uh, gold plated big hoop earring um, some kids smiley face ring uh, piece earring it's kind of neat it's kind of like a ceramic uh, toe metal junk ring and um, here's a 10k uh, earring as well um, and then this is a silver pendant that was lost 925 and then those kids uh, junk ring and then this uh, someone lost this big key key ring with from Disneyland with the, the key on it, their host key. That was at Clearwater Beach. And then pennies for the year found uh, that's is, uh, 400, 470 some odd pennies. A um, couple tokens, cash tokens. One's a movie token, one's like a, a kid's place token. Um, only what I could see so far what I, it was one silver dime King George and it was a 1952 uh, so not a lot of silver uh, didn't have a lot of old places this year more uh, uh, newer places and parks um, a few Wheaties uh, King George pennies from the 40s and uh, Wheaties from the 40s and 50s as well so th just a few of those um, this is some of my lake finds. Lake Sokomi is one of my favorite places to hunt uh, in the summer when I can get in with my water machine when it's not too busy. Or once they've drained the lake, uh, I usually find uh, stuff there as well. As you can imagine, the day after they drain it, there's like 30 other guys out there you're competing with. But I do find some stuff. So, um, you know, keys and from parks here I found. Um, here's one of the finds I found. It's a nice silver bracelet. At uh, Sokomi Lake, a 925, uh, pretty neat. Found this is a, like an old locket. Uh, you can see the old scrolling, and it's stamped 925. It's only half of it, but I found that in the schoolyard. Uh, it's the back half of it, but it's a pretty neat find. This I found at Sokomi Lake, uh, 
um, designer ring. Fairly nice. Uh, found this uh, Christian pendant, silver. And then this uh, this ring here was a silver ring in a park. And same with this one is a 925 silver. Uh, another silver pendant here. This silver pendant was found down at one of the beaches in the States. Um, junk ring here. Looked fairly nice when I was pulling it out, but it's a costume. Uh, silver ring here. And this is a, a silver ring that it moves around the outside like that turns so it's kind of a neat one fairly heavy too good size uh, ring uh, this is I don't know what this is off of but it's my initial for a knifer uh, this was my big find I found down in uh, Palm Springs this year in Indio uh, this uh, this gorgeous ring 16 diamonds black onyx in the back um, ruby eye and uh, fits over my thumb. It's got a lot of good weight to this one. And uh, I see the markings there. That's probably one of my best finds, hopefully in our club. It's the find of the year. Uh, another little costume jewelry. Another junk ring. Uh, another. This is stainless steel, this ring here. That's a nice one. Uh, costume jewelry. This is a Mason's gold ring. It's uh, really nice and it's really heavy. And uh, found that one, my favorite place at Sakomi Lake as well. Um, another really good find. Uh, this is another silver ring that I found at uh, Sakomi in the water. Uh, another silver ring here. As you can see. Another silver ring here that was found in the water as well in the summer. Uh, this, uh, what, five carat diamond uh, earring, uh, junk. <laughs> another silver earring here. And this a nice little 18 carat uh, gold ring. But then if you look far enough back, it has like a little cross in the middle. Another junker. Uh, Silver uh, earring as well, 925. A couple junk chains, uh, beaded necklace. Um, these brass knuckles I found out in the park in uh, in Indio, California, and those little uh, uh, brass knuckles I found in a different park a couple months prior on holidays down there. A couple of the old, some of the toys I found. Uh, this old gas pump is kind of neat. It's made out of metal. Uh, looks like from the 40s or 50s potentially, and, uh, and an old dinky toy as well. So that's my finds for 2010. Um, I hope you enjoyed them, and uh, thank you very much for watching the video, and there's more to come. And good luck in your hunts in 2011.